desk and watch the Vols. Uh, try not to get absolutely destroyed uh, by Georgia uh, on a live stream here. Uh, so this is kind of a, a Bateman live slash reaction video slash Saturday Night Live. I've been rearranging the bait room too. Got 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 my six cents back here behind me. Um, so excuse the mess. Uh, let me pull up uh, the YouTube chat as always. So. Uh, I can see you guys questions and everything because um, if there's any issues with the stream you guys are always great about uh, helping me so hopefully everybody's doing good tonight uh, I'm, I'm in a pretty decent mood myself and uh, we're gonna do a giveaway uh, tonight uh, we're gonna give away a bunch of stuff uh, from Greenfish Tackle uh, great company uh, they're out of Georgia um, maybe not the best night for me to be a fan of Georgia, but you know, uh, everybody there at Greenfish is good people. Uh, so thanks to John Heron. We're going to go over all these baits he sent me. I got to get the chat popped out here, uh, somehow. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, pop out the chat. Not a Gators fan, man. Not a Gators fan, but, uh, they played really good today. Um, and, uh, I can't hate on that too, too much. Uh, Auburn just did not show up. So, so what we're going to do is after the video, uh, comment, uh, on the page here and, uh, I'll, I'll do the giveaway this week. Um, so, um, just going to be really simple or, uh, so you can comment on this video or if you follow me on Instagram, which it's at Baxter the Bait Man, uh, I'll draw a winner from one of the two, and, and that's how we'll go from there. So, Greenfish Tackle does make really good stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna I gotta post this over on my Facebook channel real quick, and then we're kind of gonna get uh, uh, on with the show here. Let me uh, get my YouTube link. Well, well, I guess it's just going to pop out uh, the broadcast. Just a second. I'll figure out what I'm doing. I'm really not that distractive. Distracted. Whoa. This might be a good thing. This might be therapy for me to uh, not act like such a moron uh, when bad plays happen. Um, so I was going to try to talk about fall fishing tonight, but I really couldn't get uh, that organized and, and pumped up for it uh, because it's still like 90 something degrees here and a lot of the fish here locally are out deep so i haven't uh really got stuff organized yet for fall fishing but i have edited video today i've got two done uh, one with brad knight one with terry bolton so and then i got edited another one late tonight All right, I've got this thing posted on Facebook. Uh, so, gotta get my gotta get my screen here, my, my football stream centered up here, or I could probably just forget about it. To be honest with you, there you go. All right, so let's talk some baits because that's why we're all here. Uh, what's up, Steve Hardy? What's up, Leo? And uh, that's why we're here. We're here for the baits. Um, there's football in the corner if you want to watch it. Um, so let's uh, let's look and see this big giant package that uh, Greenfish Tackle uh, sent me. It's pretty sweet. And we'll just start pulling out random stuff. They sent me enough stuff for me, 
and to give away. So again, thank you so much to John Hare over there at Greenfish Tackle. And they also make really good uh, handmade balsa crankbaits. No wagers with Fluke Master. Although the last time we did, I believe uh, Dobbs hit the Hail Mary. Um, Yankee Tanker, what's up, Matt? Matt Vell, he has a great channel, Yankee Tanker Outdoors. Uh, always has great opinions, especially in the kayak fishing world, which is one uh, I know a lot about, but I'm not in the game. So if you're a kayak guy, go follow Yankee Tanker Outdoors. He's a supporter of the channel. I like his content. Me and him, we jive very well. We, we both have opinions. On an awesome shad bite out here in San Diego, got any good ba baits? You like for that? Yes, I love a spinner bait and a chatter bait on a shad bait. And there may be something in this bag right here from Greenfish Tackle. So let, let's get into it. So this is, if you haven't ever seen this, speaking of shad, this is an excellent bait. And I'm going to rig this up for you. This is a shin spin from Greenfish Tackle. So this size is actually a half ounce, so very versatile. And if you look, it's a swim bait head, and it's got a little spin on here. So you're kind of making basically a swim bait, soft swim bait version of, I don't know why Ohio State's on here. Let's get this crap off. If Tennessee's going to lose, they're going to lose. Let's go all baits now. I don't want YouTube to, uh, I don't want YouTube to knock my channel off or anything, so... But uh, this is a shin spin, and you can basically put it on any kind of swim bait you want. Let me find one. Uh, this would be a great one for it. This is a Kytec uh, 4.8. We like the Kytecs around here. And uh, I'll show you how to rig this thing up. And this is actually a really good match. This is a man, look how old this package is. It might be this is like a Gen 1 version Kytex. Um, uh, well, all you gotta do, just like any other swim bay head, it's got a pretty long shank, which makes this, uh, pretty cool. And, uh, I just make it go even down the back there. And just slide your favorite swim bait up. Man, that rigs up really, really nice. And that little prop there, uh, it's gonna actually, believe it or not, it will actually make this thing give it a little bit more wobble. Uh, that pairs up really, really well on that Kytec. And that is the shin spin. Very unique. Almost like a spy bait like presentation. Uh, got a paddle on the back. Uh, Kytec Rage Swimmer. Uh, probably any of your favorite soft plastic paddle tail swim baits work really good on that. I have a feeling though you could take like the Hog Farmer Spunk Shad and, and it would it would do some really good things, especially with that right there. A very uh, finessey approach. They make these all the way up to uh, uh, one ounce, I believe. So I'm going to put, uh, if there's any more shin spins, which I believe there is. Here's here's one right here. This is a big mama for fishing out deep. And uh, we will uh, put that in for the giveaway. So I'm going to make me two piles. Pile for me, which is stuff I open up pile for the giveaway and i'll put a picture on the community tab on youtube and instagram so y'all know the rules and how to get into it and i'll do the drawing live next saturday night so let's see what else we got from green fish tackle this is their skipping jig uh kind of basic kind of like all the other skipping jigs i see you got a arky style hell what's up william gibson county lake i think i'm gonna go there in a couple weeks I've got some big baits I don't know if they've seen there. Uh, I've heard those fish have been really pressured though. So, Got your basic Arky style jig here. N nothing super special. One thing I do see, it's got a very light wire hook. Needle point sharp as well. Great color. This is kind of like that oops color from uh, DNL Tackle that's popular pretty much everywhere. Especially in eastern Kentucky or Cumberland Lakes or Del Hollow. It's been good on a, a clear water on, on Kentucky Lake too, but uh, very flat head. Uh, this is going to make this bait skip really, really well uh, under docks, lay downs, whatever. Really like that. That's a skipping jig. And so one thing I will show you, if you can tell, uh, all their jigs, as far as I know, 
are hand tied. You see where it's uh, hand tied back there? Now, I've always been a proponent of slide on skirts, but I will say if you're going to skip a jig and you're doing it all day, uh, hand tied is the way to go. The skirt's not going to fall off. Uh, it, it's going to stay put. Now, because it doesn't have any, it won't slide or anything, you will start losing your skirt material sometimes quicker. But that's a really nice jig, premium jig. I like the light wire hook. Spotted bass guys probably really like this jig. All right, let's see. So there's a, a, a football jig. This is the living rubber crawball. So let's, uh, I got plenty of these in this package. So there'll definitely be several uh, of these in here. What's up, Josh? Uh, Phil, I'll answer that question here in uh, just a bit, man. Wow, so obviously this thing's got living rubber in it. And as you can see, it's real puffed out. Very, man, the detail on the head of this jig is really good. Let's see if we can get that uh, webcam to focus in on this thing real well. Um, kind of a glossy finish to it. There you go. One thing I can tell you I do like about this football jig, very light wire hook. And what I like about that light wire hook, uh, you can stick fish out deep and you don't have to have the stiffest rod in the world. Um, you know, when that bite's really light, that hook right there is going to get on. Very soft weed guard and it's not super thick. And, and one thing else you notice, it's not over long. It is about perfect. Um, that's just a nasty looking green pumpkin right there. Uh, that's a great looking football jig. Um, hopefully they stuck plenty in them because I'm going to have to toss them suckers around. Let's see if we got any more of those. Uh, let's see. Ooh, their swim jig looks good too. I just one them fell out. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got plenty of football jigs. So football jig going in the giveaway. You know what? We're gonna put two in there. Gotta put two football jigs in there, two different sizes for you guys. Uh let's keep going here with the jigs. This is a cool one. This is uh the greenfish tackle swim jig. Heck yeah, Chris. I, I, that is awesome. I hope you like the fall box. Uh, Jank juice, man. Jank juice looks so good. So, When does ledge fishing start and end for you on Kentucky Lake? It never ends and it never starts. It's 365 days a year. You can catch fish offshore. And really, you can catch fish offshore on any lake uh, in the country. Um, but... It's best here from May 15th to about now, about the second week of June, and then it gets really uh, different. What's up, Reno Anderson? Thanks for joining in. Uh, let me go back to Phil Keys. Differences between two six cents rattle trap baits and which you uh, prefer. Uh, so the Snatch is the original one. I actually don't have one with me. Uh, and then the Quake. The Snatch is actually. I wouldn't sound say it's louder. It's a whole different pitch. It's more of that rattle trap sound, whereas uh, the quake is its own sound. Uh, the snatch has a lot more flutter when it falls. Um, it's a good bait. Uh, at one time, it was going to be discontinued, but it's very popular. The quake, uh, it actually it falls different. Uh, it burns really, really well. I, I really like to burn the quake. It's probably my favorite yo-yoing uh, lipless right now. Now, I still throw a Bill Lewis trap a whole lot. But uh, Quake 70 is definitely uh, my, my, the one I prefer. Uh, now, I've seen some really big fish caught on, on, the, on the snatch. But let's, uh, let's talk about this swim jig. This is very unique. Uh, I really like that head design. Um, it, it's got the line tie built into the head or molded in there. Man, I wish this thing would focus good. Sometimes I've got to play with this webcam to get everything out right. Come on. That's a cool little chartreuse shad-like skirt. And if it's fall time of the year, you better have a swim jig tied on somewhere. Uh, kind of the ultimate power finesse presentation. Uh, put on your... You know, you can put your Kytec on here. You can put your Six Sense Divine. You can put a Rage Menace Grub on the back. Lots of options on a swim jig. This is very good paint job on this thing as well. 
Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll throw a swim jig in that giveaway uh, as well. Let's see if I got one I didn't open in the package. Oh, yeah. We'll just put your old trusty white in that giveaway. What's your thoughts on living rubber versus silicone? When do you choose one over there? I actually like living rubber when it's really cold or really hot and I'm not moving a jig much at all. That's when I like living rubber. So about 10% of the time. The rest of the time, I'm a silicone guy. Now, I do know some guys that swear by that that big living rubber out on Gunnersville and, and uh, those deep uh reservoir lakes you know highland reservoirs those guys really like that living rubber uh it makes that jig kind of breathe me when i throw a football jig i'm fishing it kind of fast so i, I go with silicone my favorite kind of snatch is between yeah we got you bud um i think you're on the long long wrong stream if that's your favorite snatch i mean hey we all like chicks but uh, i think uh campster.com has some really good memberships going uh calling uh, i don't have a discount code unfortunately so this is a cool one this is uh brandon cobb's all-purpose jig says this jig does it all uh, and it kind of looks like uh, what would be in uh a jig that does it all it's kind of got that hybrid archy jig style head. Let's check this thing out. Now Brandon Cobb, if, if this is his do-it-all jig, that's this one I might want to throw since that dude keeps winning on the Leak Series. Um, it's got a, about a mid-size hook in there, mid-grade wire, a do-it-all hook. Uh, again, hand-tied skirt here. Uh, this These hooks are super sharp. Uh, it's kind of got a little teardrop style arky like head really good jig I could I could see where a guy could tie this on and do a number of things with this um, I like I like that we'll uh, try to throw one of those in the old uh, giveaway pile as well let's see what else is here whoop I'm dropping stuff I ain't ever good so this is really cool this is uh the Itty Bitty HD Finesse Jig. I like some Finesse Jigs, especially this time of year. Mike Perry's, what color and size of Chunk and Spook would you recommend water stained? Any other color recommendations for top water? Uh, bone. I don't, if it, I mean, clear, stained, bone. Bone, bone, bone. Um, now, if it's really clear, I'll go with something that's, you know, like a, you know, transparent. But for most of my fishing, I'm going to go with bone or black. I've had really good luck on black uh, walking baits. Uh, now, saying that, uh, the old Sammy 100 in American Shad has caught me a ton of fish. But that's a little bit better when the water's clear. But I'd go with bone. This is a really unique looking jig. So it's kind of like, uh, almost like a spot remover like head. I uh, love that collar on there. Uh, light wire hook, small hook, thin weed guard. Uh, so this thing should technically stand up about like that right there on the bottom. Um, got the living rubber. This is great. This is the itty bitty finesse jig. Now I like throwing these finesse jigs around wood and docks uh, in the fall this time of year. That's kind of one of my favorite uh deals when that bite gets really tough that little finesse jig and put you uh, a baby pack -a or tiny pack of crawl on the back something like that that is a uh, a killer someone's texting me during a live stream let's see what this person wants oh i got it this is crazy. I just got a text message from Lunkers TV. He said, hey, bait man, uh, I'm watching the live stream, and uh, we've been debating for a while, and uh, we want to know if you'll come to Texas and uh, run Guggen HQ for us. Let me reply to him real quick. Hey, Rob, this is bait man. I've thought about it, and... Hell nah, I ain't gonna go come work no Googan stuff. Anyway, 
Let's get back to what we're doing. Let's put uh put you guys an itty bitty finesse jig up in that giveaway box. Now this now this bait I like. Hammerhead buzz bait. So let's open this one up and see how you guys like it. Uh, you know, buzz bait, great fall bait, top water. And uh, a couple people commented when I uh, uh, put the thumbnail up. Ooh, y'all hear that squeak? It's got that old school, got that old school buzzing sound. I like that. So you can bend this in, this this wire right here. Bend this in a little bit, and you're going to get that that head knocking sound. Or you can bend it out and get that traditional squeak. Uh, one thing I do like is uh, see this gap. It's there, there's almost no movement with the blade up and back here. So you actually will get more hookups because of that. Tactical Bassin did a video on that a long time ago, but very simple buzz bait. But uh, that, oof, that squeak, is, uh, oh, that's good. Nice and compact. Uh, put you a little frog on the back, a, a horny toad, a ribbit, whatever you want. I'd go with this thing right here. I like me some buzz bait. So I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little. Little knot stick, little black knot stick. Throw that in the giveaway. Unless y'all want a different one. Cause I think there's only two in here. Let's see what else they have sent. Uh, um, this is cool. Another football jig? Yeah, we'll give you another football jig. How about a black and blue swim jig? We'll put that in the giveaway. So you got a white and you got a black and blue swim jig in the giveaway. Is that That's like the two best colors. This is pretty cool. It's uh, it's called a new square rubber jig. So instead of the round uh, living rubber, it's square. Dr. Funk caught two jank on a buzz bait in popper today. Better send me a picture, man. DM me on Instagram with them jank. Somebody sent me a giant. They caught in a tournament. So they caught it on a, a mag shaky, uh, no mag trick worm, uh, blueberry. Caught big bass and see this thing was a tank. I want to guess at least eight. Uh, when, when they're holding it like a baby and the belly is like flopping over it, their you know hands you know is a true jank. But so this is a unique jig. Uh, see how flared out that skirt is? That's huge. It looks like a dadgum tarantula. Uh, but what's cool is this isn't round living rubber. It is big fat squares, and I don't know. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Uh, here's the football jig with round living rubber, and this is that square rubber. That square rubber is it's definitely not as fine, and, and it flares out quite a bit more. That's a really cool looking jig. Definitely would like this for dock fishing when those fish really want something slow falling. I could see putting uh, a, a trailer on here that doesn't have a ton of crazy action unless this thing just kind of flutter down there really good looking cool jig uh i think we'll put that one in the giveaway we'll let we'll let uh we'll let the viewers decide how good that one is whoever wins uh if you get some of these packages and and they've been opened i, I apologize but you're gonna get free baits now i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i'm probably gonna keep this one to myself because it is a spinner bait with purple in it and uh y'all know me I like me some purple. And uh, I don't know if John Hare knows I like purple that much, but he sent this to me. It's very similar to that mop, old mop jig web. That is, uh, if you guys remember the Buckeye Lures uh, mop jig, that uh, that is very similar. And I believe John Hare, who uh, started Greenfish Tackle, he used to work for Buckeye Lures. I think he was one of their uh, head product designers. So. Uh, if you see some similarities there, that's probably why. Because John's a great lure designer, especially when it comes to jigs and terminal tackle. So let's check out this buzz bait. Someone talked about really good shad bite. This would be a really good spinner bait. Traditionally in the fall, I'm going double willow. But I like these itty bitty Colorado blades on this thing. This is really imitate a small bait fish. 
And if you want to fish this high up in the water column, that's where I would fish it. Love that uh, little purple and silver in there. Man, that's a great uh, gizzard imitator right there. Would be absolutely kill around some shallow cover. Steak bed, stuff like that. Places I want to get that spinner bait up off the bottom uh, and fish it up in the water column. And they do, they will eat Colorado blade spinner baits this time of year. And I like that uh, double silver. Perfect for a, uh, a bright sunny day, not to get too much flash. Love the head design on that. I don't even think that's painted, it's just a clear coated over. And uh, a pretty decent size hook. Like that. That one is going on the wall. Let's see if they sent me another spinnerbait in here so I can give it to you guys. Yeah, they did. In fact, they sent you a, there's a chartreuse and white one in here, the ballistic blade, uh, silver and gold. That's a lot, a little bit more, uh, you know, can fish many different ways right there. Get some light back up in here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, got playing in. I'm looking, there's a jig called a chibi jig. This is it. This is the chibi finesse swim jig. Uh, dirty jigs flipping or the Matt Heron? I like the Matt Heron dirty jigs uh, one. It is awesome. I'll answer some questions right now. Uh, go Vol, sip that soda. Thanks, Roy Mullins. That soda is uh, orange. That's how I roll. And uh, Roy, you're also my Twitter hero, man. Uh, we need to we need to go watch some dirt tracking, do redneck stuff. Have you heard anything on the Booyah co co covert spinner baits? Um, uh, they're really good looking. In fact, I will give Booyah this. They really stepped their game up. I need to buy some. Um, I think it's going to be one of the better spinner baits on the market. And I'm a spinner bait nut. Um. In the, the course of the last few years of moving houses and stuff, I've lost a bunch. Uh, I'll leave a lot in people's boats, too. But Dave's Tournament Tackle. I'd like to... I've heard of that. Shady Banks, that... I, I'm an Indiana Blade guy. Um, I really feel that spinnerbait and the Angler's Assets uh, is for the Colorado Blades. I really like those. Um, angler's Assets makes great stuff, so... Uh, thoughts on the new zoom stick bait yeah i mean it only took them 10 years to knock off a cinco or 20 years a little behind the times i guess i haven't thrown it uh like i said if i'm gonna throw a cinco i usually throw a cinco uh i do throw some other stick baits i really actually like the clout from six cents i caught some fish on that uh, that video is coming up this week yeah man greenfish tackle uh their stuff does look good Yep, Dustin Taylor. We got we got to find a race to go to. I think we need to go I fifty five. Pearl white, few strands strand, strands of purple. That's perfect. Yep, I love the nickel spinner baits as well, man. So I have thrown the Indiana Colorado combo. I think I got one over here somewhere. Uh, I might have to find it. Yeah. Somebody, you know, you guys might want to just see the baits because somebody uh, in the comment section last week, first comment, said, I wish you would just show the damn baits. I'm tired of you talking to your people. You get so distracted. Well, buddy, if you're watching tonight, I'm showing baits. So there's a, a it's actually two Indianas. I'd almost call that a Colorado. That's an Angler Assets. That's a really good, good one right there. So anyway... Let's see, Wesley Strader Old School Balsa is a awesome crankbait for the price. I don't know when Six Cents is coming out with spinner base. They actually come out with some hooks this week. I didn't know that was coming. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys because I keep it real all the time. I'm an owner hooks guy, and for the most part, it's going to be really hard to get me away from owner hooks and the stuff I use. Um, but I'll give them a try. Um, I'm just... In some things, uh, like terminal tackle, I always use what's always worked. Um, I use a certain hook for a worm, certain for 
flipping and, and other stuff. And, and I've always just been a believer in owner hooks. Now I do use some Mustad grip pins and a few other things. Uh, owners are more expensive. Do I think they're actually as sharp as a Gamakatsu? I don't think out of the package they are on some hooks but they don't roll over and that makes a big difference so this is the uh, chibi swim jig so really unique head this is actually different than the other head you'll notice the line tie is outside and it is straight and it is actually horizontal so it's not you know the line tie is not going this way it's it's parallel uh, to the body uh, a very unique hook, almost like a old Shaughnessy style hook on there, and a really thin weed guard. So that this was designed by Shiniki Fuque. I can't ever pronounce his last name, but I met him one time, and his wife is really sweet. Uh, probably one of the nicest uh, ladies out there I've met. It says the Chibi Finesse Swim Jig's name was derived from the Japanese term Chibi, meaning small. The Chibi Finesse Swim Jig has a slim, hand-tied skirt with a flat line tied killed head design, which proves for better tracking. And I was right, the jig is built around a Gamakatsu O'Shaughnessy band worm hook for sharp penetration. So the bait man does know what he's talking about. Sometimes it's on the package, but that's a cool swim jig. That is the Chibi Finesse Swim Jig. Uh, that is definitely a good hook. That is one of those Gama Katsu hooks I like. I really like that old uh, Shaughnessy hook. If you give me your address or P.O. box, I'll send some Dave's tournament tackle stuff. His shop is a mile from my house. Real good guy. Been making base for 35 years. Sure, man. Uh, uh, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. I don't really want to throw my personal contact info out here. I really need to get a P.O. box because uh, it'd be cool for people to send me stuff like hate mail and uh, normal mail and uh, maybe a bait every now and then got got to answer this question from a boy web columns uh kb since you're a spinnerbait connoisseur have you found a way to make the rubber bands around the skirts last more than a year in a boat in a box they usually end up tacky and disintegrate you know uh someone told me you can do baby powder uh like you do on the frogs the best advice I can give you is what it is is when when it gets warm and cold and warm and cold, you know, the moisture in there. Uh, even if you don't open the box, um, I personally I just try to get them out out of a boat, man, that and get them, you know, in a garage or somewhere. Um, that uh, I think the best one I've seen is like the Bass Mafia Blade Coffin. Uh, that's a really good box. I don't even have one right now. Um, I've kind of gotten this deal where I take all the stuff uh, I want to use, and then when I get home, I spend like 30 minutes putting it back and organizing. It's a pain in the ass to get ready to do something, but uh, as far as spinner baits, I've not found a perfect solution yet. There was a Falcon box, a uh, spinner bait box. If you can find it, that was really good. Copper wire tie them. That's a that's a good suggestion, James. Good suggestion. Ooh, this is a good looking swim jig. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna keep this. Man, my kids are going crazy. Um, they must be tired of watching the balls. I didn't even check the scores. Georgia hung fifty on us yet. Um. Woo! This is a good little looking little blue yo jig now this has got a, a little bit bigger hook different than that chibi finesse jig look at that a little bit of green pumpkin a little bit of purple and some orange man i like that one right there i really like that and well, let's let's put a trailer on this jig let's uh let's see if i can find something here i had a thought i had a huh that one look good i had some uh six cents new trailers and I've, i guess i've lost them Man, you put a little bluegill trailer on the back of that like a sungill. Oh, somebody's going to get eight. That is... That is just the green fish tackle swim jig. Hand-tied quarter ounce. Like that guy right there. So, you can uh, get on Tackle Warehouse. It has a huge selection of green fish tackle. Or you can go to their website. That color is just plain bluegill. Chichin Chong, drive a chevy. 
All right, I've been having more success with micro finesse jigs than traditional jigs the last couple of months. I fish Glacier Lakes in New Hampshire, great for clear water. I really like finesse jigs. Uh, you know, if you're talking about like the micro Z-Mans, the, the missile micro jig, uh, I tell you the Kitech football jig is really good and uh, the Beast Coast Max Phil football jig is, is really sweet. Only 43 to 14. Well, uh, we did lead the game at one point, so, uh, but actually my text there was great. The one quarterback we have that can actually throw the ball is now hurt. So, uh, it is what it is, man. Uh, we'll get them next year, boys. I really get tired of hearing that. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. We, Tennessee just does not have the depth, uh, but. What retrieve do you use on a swim jig? That's a good question. If I'm targeting fish at a specific depth, I really just kind of like I do a, a, a swim bait. I throw it out there, count it down to where I want, just a steady, you know, retrieve. And I'll use like a six, six to one reel. Um, if I want it up near the surface, uh, if I'm trying to get a reaction bout, I really want that jig to pulse. I'm going to use a high speed reel. And uh, I kind of shake my rod, I reel, and just shake the rod. Reel, shake the rod, and that jig just kind of jumping around, uh, darting. And uh, there's a time that, that is an absolutely killer bite. You know, running that parallel to riprap, running parallel to grass, just shaking that little swim jig there. Uh, put a speed crawl on the back, a, a menace grub, spicy beaver nail. Anything that creates a lot of commotion, that's when I want that trailer. Now, if I want... <laughs> Just, excuse me, steady retrieve, swim bait on the back. Kitek, the Divine swim bait. Uh, I'm ready to use that one a lot. Any paddle tail it's, that's a solid body, really good on that. Uh, I got to get some of those Mega Bass ones, those, those Uzo swimmers. Got to get one of them. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, this is the Chibi Jig. So there's a chibi swim jig, and now we got uh, a chibi jig. Do you ever use scent on your jigs? Uh, no, but I put them on my trailer. Uh, I use that Strike Force stuff. That's that's my favorite. Uh, a good buddy of mine. So this is a really unique head. This is different. This is kind of like a damn cashew, but it's compact jig kind of small you know let's compare this uh to the football jig football jig big and bulky this chibi jig a lot shorter smaller hook definitely got a smaller hook Would be a great compact uh flipping or pitching jig the way that head's designed if things gonna fall straight down I think my kids are uh, getting chewed out by the wife. They're being way too rowdy. I'm just reading on this. When in doubt, read the packages. What's up, St. Chris? Glad you're on here, man. 43-14, Georgia. They must have got a safety. You know, uh, I don't think anybody's going to beat Oklahoma right now. Oklahoma looked really good. Uh, we'll see. Um, man, y'all have got a huge giveaway. Huge, huge amount of stuff. See if anything else in here is different. Uh, it's another chibi jig. This is cool. This is uh, something I know that's really unique to Greenfish Tackle. And this is their creeper head. Uh, and I'm going to need to get a soft plastic to put on this to show you guys. If I can find one. Let me, let me see if I can get me a bait. Come on, give me a bait. I ain't got, I ain't got no, I can't move around in here. I got too much stuff. Just give me something. Sure, we'll use a dang rage crawl. So this is the creeper head. This is kind of like uh, a big fat Arky style shaky head, but it's got a screw on it. So 
So we're going to put a little Strike King Rage Crawl on this. Ohio State, Oklahoma, there's a lot of really good teams. I do not think Alabama is the number one team in the country. They have played nobody. LSU would be really hard to beat right now. So take this chibi hit, chibi, or what? It, I've said chibi so many times. I like to bite that end off on a rage crawl. It just makes you to thread in. This is the creeper head. I know that John said guys really like these for skipping docks and, and putting uh, creature baits on, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Put your little rage crawl on that thing. You just fish it by itself. Yeah. Put that hook farther back in there. Nice and straight. Oh, yeah. So your little crawl stand up like that right there. And you can just scoot this thing on the bottom. Really like that. It's very unique. Um, that would be good up north for smallmouth. Something tells me that head right there and some soft plastic would just crush some smallmouth. And, or dragging it on pea gravel banks. That's the creeper head. I know that's really, really popular from Greenfish Tackle. And these rage crawls, they've been in the gym. They're like sweating. And that's the color I like the most. The guys ask me a lot, what color rage crawl? Blue crawl or summer crawl is about all I ever throw. Uh, I do throw some green pumpkin purple, and they got a new green pumpkin swirl out. Those are really good as well. But day in, day out, summer crawl, I can just put it with so much different things. I have not used a glide fluke, but uh, I've seen Fluke Master using it when we went fishing, and he caught a few on it. Uh, pretty good uh, glide bait. Do you scent on jigs? Never heard anything on this. Thanks, big man. No, I do not put scent on my jig, but I will, you know, put scent on my trailers. Um, but I usually like. They got this stuff called Strike Force. Uh, you can look it up and I'll squirt the Strike Force, you know, and in my trailer, whatever trailer I'm using, you know, my beavers or on my rage crawls. And then I'm not worried about, you know, putting them on, squirting stuff all over somebody else's boat or anything like that. See who else has been texting me. It's probably my wife. She said the kids are being horrible. And uh, I am probably not going to... Uh, how about a Rage Chunk? I do like the Rage Chunks. I don't use them as much as I like the Crawls. Because I feel like the Crawls hold up a little bit better. Because uh, you can thread them up onto the hook. Another football jig. Let's see if there's anything else in here that we haven't discussed. There's a big rubber jig. I'll put that in the giveaway. There's another football jig. Another football jig. How about two buzz baits? Yeah, we'll give you two buzz baits. And uh, that's another football jig. So we have got a ton of stuff from Greenfish Tackle. What is my favorite jig brand? You know, I'm going to be honest. I've always been a dirty jigs guy. Um, there's not a lot of people carried around here. Um, but I, I don't like to limit myself to one brand of anything. Uh, but, uh, dirty jigs. I like, of course, my favorite y'all have seen the all terrain football jig. Um, the gym one rock jig. I really like the six cents, um, hybrid jig. I, I, I was going to make a video over five jigs that uh, are overlooked or all around jigs, you know, unique jigs. And I would say that hybrid jig is overlooked quite a bit. Um, I like a, I like the missile mini flip. That's a really good one. So I don't know if I have one just favorite company. I use a whole lot of them, but I do know my all-time favorite is the Moina uh, rock jig. 
uh, football jig. I catch so many fish on that thing, but uh, they're getting kind of harder and harder to get. And they just got bought out by a company, so I'm kind of, you know, worried about that. Luckily, there's a lot of good, good football jigs out there. Uh, dirty jigs tackle. We've seen this green fish tackle football jig. Um, Jewel still makes a good jig. So, FLW going to be bought out? Uh, going to be, or uh, when's it going to be officially announced? Because there's one of those answers is correct. Um, I love the pocket chunt by net bait. Uh, that's one of the all time favorite ones. What's up, Robert Menace? What's my favorite buzz bait trailer? Uh, you know what? It's probably not a trailer. I've caught a lot of fish on a buzz bait without a trailer, but um, believe it or not, just putting a horny toad on the back seems, seems to get the most from me uh, if I use a trailer. But, I'll tell you guys a big secret. Uh, I don't throw a trailer on there a whole lot of time. Uh, I do know some guys that put a menace grub on it. Take the skirt off and just a little menace grub on the back is killer. Yeah, dude, Picasso uh, does uh, make some good jigs. Most uh, academies carry six cents uh, flats out. Like to see a series of Bateman rods, not in purple. Maybe just the tip. Okay, that's funny, Michael. Uh, if I was going to do rods, I would be very traditional. I would just want a black or silver blank. I really like the dial uh, to two elite rods as far as the silver look. Uh, but I would be pretty traditional. And I'll be honest, I don't think it'd be too much different than the sensory rod that Six Cents makes. It's pretty awesome. So uh, let's see. October second, twenty nineteen. 5.3 pound 19 inch smallmouth crush to six cents provoke 106. That a boy. That provoke is an awesome jerk bait. Shady Banks, uh, that was going to make my list an overlook jig, the Omega structure jig. Uh, that is a very unique jig, different hook than what I like for structure fishing, but it turns out it's an awesome jig. Um, Omega makes some great stuff, man. That company is really. Uh, turned heads in the last, last little bit. So I hate to have a short stream tonight, and I want to talk more fall fishing. But uh, you know, my wife's not feeling good, and uh, I can tell my kids are going crazy. So I'm probably going to have to jump off here. But here's what I want you to do: um, after the video gets done tonight, uploading and everything. You know, to say there's a new video, go back on here, comment on the video to get eligible in this giveaway. And then uh, I'm going to post a photo tomorrow or late tonight on Instagram. Probably do it tomorrow and uh, follow me over there to get entered in the giveaway. And I'll draw a winner live next Saturday night and uh, I'll try to ship it to you pretty quick. Uh, I'm really horrible about shipping fast unless you bought something from me online. So. I just hate running the post office. I work midnights. But anyways, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that stuff. I mean, I've never had any greenfish tackle uh, on here. So I'm really thankful to John Hare to send that to me. And uh, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Spend it with your families. If you have to work, be careful at work. Um, and... Uh, Fall should be here. We should get some cooler weather. And we're going to get into some top water and spinner baits and stuff like that. So I'll answer one last question. Do you throw bluegill swim baits like the Gantorel or Bull Shooter? Do you have a favorite? I do throw the Gantorel. Yes, uh, Joseph, you can enter the giveaway on YouTube and Instagram. I'll draw a winner from Instagram, one on YouTube, and then I'll flip a coin to see who wins. So... Thank you guys so much. Be sure to share the video, like, and comment. And uh, I'll have another video up tomorrow on YouTube. Uh, going to be a good week for some content, guys. So uh, appreciate all the love and support. You guys have a good night.